How you doing today? I'm John Gibbons, and today we're going to be making a sapphire vase. Um, I've got to make some more of this twisty cane here, and some more uh, cup stuff cane. So here's a cup stuff, and but it's the wrong color. This is this is a gray, so I have to make cobalt. I've got this color here that I cut up. That's duro white. Um, I don't know if you can buy that stuff anymore. The gaffer factory closed, but I got some. So, gonna heat it up to 1050, and then we're gonna turn it into twisty cane and cup stuff cane. So I want that hole on the inside to be a little smaller because all my cobalt will go leaking out of there if I don't uh, make it a little smaller. I don't want to close it off though because it helps me not trap an air bubble. There we go, that's a nice little hole there. or utilize it. Okay, so this is how we're gonna make the twisty cane. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of glass right there and then stick the blob of, of molten glass on there and then we're gonna start twisting it up and pulling it. I made this thing with a half inch rod and some quarter inch rod. I just welded it up, nothing fancy. If you can't weld, you could have a welder make it for you. It's really easy. So you gotta preheat this, so I'm gonna put it right here. So that'll get nice and hot so the glass sticks to it when I need to use it. Yeah, here's some of the twisty cane I made and uh, the cup stuff cane, Marini. So I'm gonna chop these up and lay them out and then put this in between each row. 
Uh, I'm also going to put some of these marinis I made a while back and then hopefully we'll roll this vase up tomorrow. So my marinis kind of vary in size so I'm trying to mix them up so that uh, they're even, the sizes are evenly dispersed. So when it blows out, it blows out evenly. But move these smaller ones around, replace them with bigger ones, put the smaller ones over on this side so that it's kind of all evenly spaced. Okay, now I gotta line up some clear along this top and bottom edge. So, uh, I've got these clear, clear marini rods, where it's just clear rod, and I, I cut it up and lay it out like another row of marini right there. And so that allows me to um, conserve my color when I roll up the, all this marini onto the collar on the blowpipe space I want to fill so I'm just going to cut one of those in half get a little half moon and then stick that right in there and so this will all get cut off and just scrapped when it's all said and done so this is going to hold my cane in place I'm letting all the marini get cold so that when I heat it up, it melts in smooth. Because if there's any little dents, they'll trap an air bubble.
All right, so the sapphire vase came out. I'm really excited about it. It's gorgeous. Um, the the blue, it's a little different than my other design. I'm not sure. I think it's because I put clear in between the two colors, and so they didn't smear. This one kind of smeared. You can see how it's just kind of a, a band of blue on top of the white. Compared to this one, it's like the blue and the white aren't touching. They're kind of swirling. Uh, into a spiral corkscrew but yeah the duro white is really stiff and so you kind of have to get the glass extra hot it takes a little bit of learning to figure out how to how to work with it but the result is like a really crisp uh, color pattern especially with this these pieces right here I can feel the texture there it's uh it's really bumpy because the white's so stiff, it doesn't, it doesn't bleed out and uh, smear. But uh, now I gotta just finish the bottom off and I'll be shipping this out to Ocean Galleries in Avalon, New Jersey. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching, I'm John Gibbons.